All right, what's going on? So I've been seeing a lot of comments about um, how to install the side skirts off a 94, 95 Honda Accord, um, as well as the real rear lip. Excuse me, tongue twister. Anyway, um, I've already gone ahead. I made a tiny video that explained how I installed the front lip. Now I've already got my side skirts and my rear lip installed on my Prelude but I'm gonna go ahead and just make a short video and show you how I did the install. It's pretty easy, something that you really don't need to see it actually do, just understand what it is that I did. So I'll go outside, I'll show you what I did, and hopefully this helps everybody answer their questions. Okay, so here's what I did with the side skirts. Um, because when they come, they're definitely longer than what's needed. What you wanna do is you wanna just take the old side skirt on the inside of here, all those little clips, you're gonna have to cut all of them off all along the inside of the side skirt, okay? Secondly, bring it over here to your car and then line it up. And I line it up at the beginning or at the very back, push it all the way forward, and then I'll come up here to my, my front. Usually sticks out probably to about here. You measure, you cut, and you can cut you can cover this with your uh, mud flap if you'd like to. So once you've got it all measured and cut, you can bring it back over here and you install it. <clears throat> and you legit just put it on top of your old existing side skirt and then you screw it in. So I've got one, two, three screws going along it, or going along it. And then underneath, what you'll have to do is just find out where some of your holes are all along it and drill through it so you can press that clip up in through both the side skirts and you'll have it installed on the sides and it won't go anywhere. Okay, so for the rear lip install, you're gonna wanna actually take your bumper off. It's gonna make it a lot easier to remove the entire rear bumper. And then what you're gonna do on both sides is you're actually just gonna worry about lining up this curve with the curve of the prelude. And then when you do that, this will actually stick out a few inches or so, so you'll have to measure and cut this portion off. You can cover it with your mud flaps, but your mud flaps will actually have to go lower, so you'll have to kind of modify them to cover if you want to run mud flaps. Once you've made your cut, this back piece comes in three sections, two sides and a middle. So on these sides, you've already made your cut, you line it up, then you'll just figure out which holes you can throughout the top. And if you have to, you drill new holes, or sometimes you're able to use like one or two existing holes. So, you're gonna wanna do the sides first, both the sides first, and then with this center piece, what you're gonna do is you're gonna line it up, connect it to the left side or the driver's side, um, and then it'll actually overhang because it's actually too long for the back, so you're gonna have to cut it, just like every other piece. And once you've made your cut, you can go ahead and drill your holes all along the top and install it. Or if you're lucky enough, you can find a hole that already exists and you can install it there. 